Well, hello everybody, and welcome to this video where I'm going to be walking through my Bible, or my Bibles, and the first one I'm going to show you is my Illustrator's Note-Taking Bible, and this is just one Bible that I like to pull out here and there because I find it therapeutic to color in the already pre-drawn out lines for me um hashtag art challenged but it's just a great way for me to relax um with scripture and then also be able to do art in the bible easier and i found that for me sometimes doing my morning quiet time i need to switch it up a little and this is a great bible for me to use when I want to do more artsy stuff and I'll have a link down below as well as this next Bible which I find is just extremely adorably cute and it is a brand spanking new one so I actually haven't really written in it it's the holy bible and it's an artisan collection so I think somebody originally hand painted that and then they put it on cloth bible covers but um um yeah I'll have a link down below I like it because i think it has great wide margins and i'm excited to use it um and the binding's really cute so there's that but going into my actual bible this is where i do the majority of my quiet time and i got it in 2016 on my 16th birthday but here i'm just showing you guys how i typically read my bible which is book by book and i started off by just reading the books that I found were the easiest and then putting a check mark next to it when I finished it. And that motivated me um, to continue reading my Bible when I was able to check that I finished a book off. And it was just so exciting to see my progress like month by month realizing that, oh wow, I've read 10 more books. Like this is crazy. Um, but here I'm just flipping through my Bible. I haven't read through my entire Bible yet. And I have found that it's hard to also know how much of the Bible you've read when you have multiple Bibles like I do. But it really doesn't matter, honestly, as long as you're getting into the Word and you're being intentional about your quiet time. I think that's honoring to God. Um, but here I'm going to be talking about my annotations and study notes. Luke is one of my most annotated books of the Bible because I actually went through it in order to help teach myself um, the ways of Jesus and how I can use his um, teachings and his way of communicating to people to further reach out to my friends um, who aren't believers. But this is also another book that I really heavily annotated. Guys, honestly, what I do is I highlight with whatever color I want and I draw things. I calligraphy I just do what I'm feeling in the moment I even like to do annotations down by the study notes um I star things like I put there and then I also will make a little note like next to something like there I put that makes sense because I struggle with the passages sometimes and when I read the study notes it helps me better understand the verses and something that's special about this Dr. David Jeremiah Bible is that he also does more in-depth sections like that which talks about how to reach out to your friends once again and more in in um, depth about my calligraphy what I like to do like I said is once I'm done reading a book of the Bible I will do a calligraphy of my favorite verse in the front of that specific book of the Bible and here are just a few of them I have them and a lot of them I just find that it's also another great way to incentivize me finishing reading a book of the Bible is the fact that I get to pick out my favorite verse and write it in the front. And here I have my washi tape coating, which guys, if you haven't seen my washi tape coating video yet, I will link that down below because that is more in depth about what I do when I washi tape code. But this was something that I really got into for a while and I've kind of fallen out of. But basically each washi tape kind of represents a symbolism in the bible so or not even a symbolism but just a theme of the bible so i have ones on prayer i have one on persecution i have ones that show the love of god i have god's promises and more and that's my bibles you guys it's just really a simple thing that i do it's just everyday reading and not giving up and just getting in god's word and you'll go far